Good morning, Mindsetters. This morning, we're gonna set up our seed starting area and get some seeds going. Believe it or not, we're gonna start with, not tomatoes today, but we're gonna start our celery today. The reason we're starting our celery is they're one of the harder plants to grow, and it takes them 110 days to get to fruition. So let's get these started this morning. But first, we need to go to the grocery store and get some meat for dinner tonight. We'll get that started. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some baby back ribs, some future bacon, more future bacon. What do we have over here? We got a shoulder roast. What are you doing? You're always getting into everything, mister. Man. All right, what do we have over here? Boneless loin roast. Let's have a loin roast for dinner tonight. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to be putting a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder on it. About a teaspoon of each. I have the skin side or the fat side up. That way when it's cooking, all that fat will liquefy and melt down into the meat. Just give it some more good deliciousness. This is all healthy fat for you. It's pasteurized pork. In any pasture-raised animal, the fat is healthy for you. It's loaded with omega-3 oils. It's good. It's not like a confinement farm raised animal where the fats are not good for you. Set the cover on it. Put it on low. Now that we've got dinner cooking, we can get started on the seeds. Since we got our cat Figaro, we're going to have to change around our growing setup a little bit. We can't have it up against the wall or near the stairs. We can jump off of it and get on to our racks. So I'm going to try setting it up in the middle of the floor this time and see how that works. So we're going to pick up our cardboard painting our crates. The crates all have two coats on the inside and one on the outside. So we need to do one more coat on the outside and then Gina can start antiquing them. We had such a blast building our snowman yesterday. It was so much fun. If you haven't had a chance to see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. Pesky cat likes to get into everything. Gotta put stuff up high to keep him out of it. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm hoping that's a further enough distance from the stairs. We have a power source up there, and we have outlets right here. So I'm hoping we got a decent location. It's in the middle of the floor. Hopefully it'll keep Mr. Figaro out of it. Time will tell. Alright, 
let's see what we've got up here. I have a few more trays. Ah, here's the soil block maker I'm looking for. Want the little one. But what we're doing now, a little bit of left oil, oh, a little bit of leftover soil. I think that's what we need for today. What I like using to mix our soil in, in the house is a concrete mixing tub. They have a couple of different sizes of the concrete mixing tubs at Lowe's and Home Depot. I like the smaller or medium sized one. Works good for inside the house. We have a four foot fluorescent light with grow light bulbs in it. This year we're, we're also going to be experimenting with LED grow lights. They're thin, flexible, got double sided stick tape on them, should use a lot less electricity, easier to store when you're not using them, inexpensive. Got these from Amazon, I'll put a link to these in our Amazon shop. I'm sure we'll end up having to get more this year, but we're gonna start with this one when we're ready for it. Gina and I really enjoy doing the gardening and starting all the plants with each other. Now that we're home from work, it's time to get dinner ready. We have that nice, delicious pork roast in the crock pot that smells delicious. I opened the door when I came home and I'm like, that smells great. We gotta have some accompanying food to go with that that'll just send it off. So what I thought about doing, what we've been doing a lot lately and it's been delicious, is we've been doing roasted vegetables. So we're going to be doing potatoes, beets, celery, carrots, onions, garlic. Let's get to it. It's going to be delicious. This is super simple but tastes marvelous and it's going to go wonderful. One of the great things about having roasted vegetables is they are just as good, if not better, reheated for leftovers. And believe it or not, having them with eggs in the morning and bacon, even if there's beets or Brussels sprouts or carrots and celery in there, it is delicious with your eggs. Crazy cat. We're not going to be using the beet greens tonight, but that doesn't mean we're going to be giving them to the pigs. We'll save them and we'll have dinner some other night this week. If you've never had roasted beets before, you don't know what you're missing. We haven't had it till recently. And I'll tell you what is one of our favorite ways to have beets now. It is just so good. Oh. One of the best things about cooking with whole foods like this is all your little scraps and bits and pieces that you don't use, your animals love them. And then they, in return, turn it into delicious food for you to eat all over again. It's, it's just a win-win. It's a revolving door and everybody wins.
This next one might surprise you, but roasted celery is delicious. We had this for our first time this winter too, and oh, it is amazing how good roasted celery is. Now, if you're thinking I'm nuts for all these different vegetables I'm roasting together, I could be, but I'm telling you, it's delicious. Have I steered you wrong yet? If you've tried any of the meals we cook, I'm telling you, they're just good. I'm a fussy eater, and I find these delicious. I've been thinking about this all day long when I've at, been at work today. It's, oh, coming home and roasting all these vegetables to go with the nice pork we have. And then we're gonna have some delicious leftovers. And then all this wonderful cooking is just making me want spring to come even sooner so we can start growing more of our own vegetables and food here at Lumna Acres. It's gonna be a good year. We had a modern setter tell us that if you leave the root on the onion until you're done cutting it, you don't cry. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't work all the time, but 95% of the time, if I leave the root on, I don't end up crying. Why stop there? We have a red pepper. That's going to be delicious in here. Loaded with vitamin A. Peppers are very good for you. So why not? It'll add some great flavor. Yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit of avocado oil on there. We love our Himalayan pink salt, loaded with minerals. It's got good flavor. Some of that on there. Get my lid. Get it all coated and stirred up. Once we know everything's got a light coat of oil on it, we're gonna dump them out into our cookies. We're gonna stick them in our 350 degree preheated oven. That's probably gonna take around an hour to cook because there's a lot of vegetables there. I'm gonna set it for 20 minutes, check it, flip it. Watch out, Louis. Loaded. Bless you. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you are. There's your key for it. looks delicious. Look how colorful it is. Is that a nice colorful dinner or what? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. The beets are good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like the beet flavor on the stuff. Hmm. volunteer you. The girls nominate me to do the dirty part. Just want to get a cake-like batter consistency. Our soil block maker. What do we have? 12? 16 blocks. So we're only going to do two of these. Show us how it's done. Right here. Yep. Ooh. Yep. That one came out a lot better. Oh wow. Okay. They're tiny, aren't they? Well, you got, you're going to take it from my hand? Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought it was for me. No. Look, it's like uh, operation. Are you planting them with love? Yeah. Can you feel that? To get them to grow. Where'd the cat go? 
took off. You like one more light right here. How much did you miss it? That's good. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Are you going to keep that side on it? Yep. I'll put it off to That's the start of our first seed for 2018. Fingers crossed, the celery starts sprouting soon and we'll have good luck, right? And we'll put them into the medium soil blocks. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow at... One the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, sorry.